hi guys here I am again with another DIY sewing tutorial and in this video I'll be showing you how I transformed a shirt to a shirt dress please if this is your first time on my channel subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing this is a shirt which I bought um, I've already taken out the sleeves I bought this shirt because I intended transforming it into a shirt dress. So here you see three other fabrics and these are the fabrics we are going to combine to, the, to this shirt to make a shirt dress. So for the burnt orange fabric, I have three strips of them and I'm going to put them together to make one long strip of fabric. In order to come up with one long strip of fabric, I'll be joining them here. So this is what I mean. This is one strip of fabric and this is another one. So I'm going to join them here. I'll do that till I have one long strip of fabric. And another thing you should know is Two of the ends have been stitched like this. So this is a double hem I did and the distance here is one inch. The reason I did that is because to this point of the shirt where you have the button, I'm going to attach this here. So you can see where I did the double hem it has to correspond with the double hem which has been done on the shirt itself so that when I put them together like this it just continues and then I'll add buttons here as well before I run a stitch on the machine the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the strips of fabric together just so that it's easier for me when I'm sewing it. I'm done putting together the strips of the burnt orange fabric and what I want to show you now is this I decided to sew the rough edge on the right side of the fabric and the reason I did this is because at the end I'm going to do some frills here so what I mean is I'm going to pull out the thread like this Yeah, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to pull out the thread like this and then you have some frills here. So this is on the right side of the fabric. So right now I'm going to set my machine on the longest stitch length and I'm going to sew two parallel lines across the length of the fabric. This is called the basting stitch. This is the stitch you need um, before you do gathers on the fabric. And you have to sew right across. Do not do any back stitch. If you do a back stitch, you will not be, be able to gather that area. So it's just one long stitch right across the length of the fabric. If you notice, I'm not sewing this area. And that is because this is where your buttonhole is going to be for the shirt. So I'm going to stop my stitch right here.
and I will run another parallel stitch because whenever you're doing your gathers you want to have two stitches not one it makes it easier for you to pull the thread and the gathers really look good when you have two stitches instead of just one so I'm going to run another stitch like I did before right now I'm going to show you how we do our gathers what you do is you lift the thread of the two top parallel stitches which you did so this is stitch one and this is stitch two so you're going to lift both of the top stitches you hold on to them and then you pull be careful not to pull them too tight what you don't want is your thread to cut if the thread cuts you have to start all over again unfortunately so you have to be very very careful when you're doing your gathers it's interesting because we learned this in um, in secondary school <laughs> how to pull gathers just doing this brings back memories for me so what I'm going to do right now is so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to measure the gathers to make sure it's the same measurement as the base of my shirt. We'll start from one end all the way to the other end and just like we did for the shirt we are not starting from here because this is the flap. This distance here is the flap for the bottom and bottom hole. So we'll start from here and we measure all across. So it has to be 42.5 inches or 108.5 centimeters. Supposed to be 42.5, but it's um, actually 43, so I was close. That's not a problem because I don't have a lot of work to do. What I what I can do is I'll just pull the gathers a little bit more. With this fabric, I did the same thing I did for the burnt orange fabric, which is I ran two parallel stitches across the length of the fabric and then I pulled gathers so you have your gathers here here just like you have on this what we're going to do next is we'll be working with the polka dotted fabric What I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, make some pleats and they don't need to be even. Just do random pleats like this. My pleats are normally, um, I normally take 
When I'm doing my pleats, I normally pinch the fabric to an estimate of about um, 0.5 inch and then I lean it over. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So you lift your fabric and then you lean it. So before we start doing our gathers, what we have to do is we have to measure the base of the shirt just so that when we are pulling our gathers on the fabric we will know um, the measurements we have to use for the gathers. So right now I'm going to measure the base of this shirt and I won't be starting from here. I'll start away from the bottom flap. So, I'll measure round. And I'll end here just before the button flap. So all round it is 42.5 inches here, which is 108.5 centimeters. Right now we're going to attach the gathered fabric to the shirt. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to lay down the bottom layer and to it I'll add the middle layer which is the polka dotted fabric so it's going to look like this something like this and then finally I'll add the burnt orange fabric. So this gives you an idea of what it will look like when attached to the shirt. Let's go ahead and do the sewing.
And this is what the shirt dress looks like. You can dress it up with a pair of heels or a pair of sneakers for an everyday look. Thanks for watching.